Howdy everybody and welcome back to the Cast Gaming Channel. James here once again and uh, I've got the very first Cast Gaming Channel kickoff tournament replay for you guys today. So it's going to be a 4 versus 4 on Flanders 5B. Teams are Grognards versus Les Couchemers des Hommes, which I believe in French or in English rather means the Nightmares of Men. So let's see what we've got here as far as the team composition. The first match is going to be 36 points. So we've got Denmark as army number one for the Imperials today, followed by France, Espana for army number two, followed by the army of Italy for France is army number three. And let's see if I can find the fourth one here. And France Orient as army number four for the Imperials. For the coalition today, we're going to have Austria as the first coalition faction, followed by Russia 1812. And we're going to have Brunswick as army number three for the coalition, followed by 1808 to 1810, Espana, which is the 10 pointer. Spanish faction for the coalition today uh, go ahead and get in the tactical breakdown really quick I think I've done this map before but there's a couple options if you're the Imperials uh, you start out all together on one side so you can just head straight for the town since the roads are all leading that way being careful to um, not being outflanked on your left side from a and a possible coalition push or um, you can try and hit this right side here through the town if you want. Maybe you can catch Austria isolated by itself. Or maybe they come up to defend this position. You can take the high ground right here. And uh, maybe get a few devastating hits on Austria in the process. So what I really recommend if you're going to be the Imperials on this map in this particular starting position is choose a side. Choose a side and all out attack it since you start together try and isolate let's say potentially Russia by itself here it's going to take time for Brunswick and Spain to come up or hit Austria as quickly as you can although Austria might not be as good of a choice because they have the elevated position your charges will be broken up from the town here uh, Russia does, does have a little bit of elevated position but they're going to move up into the town they're probably going to take these this forested area so I would probably come after Russia on this side uh, it looks like we've got some scouting Russian calf here for for the moment. If you're the coalition, I would recommend a, a couple maneuvers here. I think because you start out kind of spread out and isolated from each other, Brunswick and Spain start out together while Austria and Russia start on the flanks. It's to have your armies converge into the town, do your best on the flanks to hold your positions, uh, either in the forest area here or on this left side in the high ground take control of this house you can potentially try and push uh, for this farmhouse very far but I don't recommend that you'll be isolated so I think just taking the town is the better of your options now you might be able to delay some advancement with some scouting cav or potentially um, some harassing units up in the front in order to delay the Imperial advance but it's only going to be a delay. You're going to need time for your armies to come up together. I know I personally caught some ar armies off guard um, by hitting this right flank as they head for the town. Uh, so it can happen, but this is not going to be a possibility for the coalition today. So it looks like we've got France Orient coming up on the left side. We're having the rest of the Imperial factions kind of head for the town. Uh, I think this is a bit of a mistake here. Uh, everybody just needs to be heading down this road as quickly as possible in order to get to the town as quickly as possible. And at that point, you can set up some artillery on this high ground, start hitting Russia, start advancing on them. Uh, maybe have one side hold off Russia or Austria on this right side, I'm sorry, um, if they choose to start attacking. Looks like Austria is heading towards the town here. They've just got some scouting cab, some C7, some Chevlisages up there. 
Uh, Brunswick is coming up along with Spain as expected. And uh, this is a good move by the coalition to converge their armies instead of being isolated. Now, having an army on this far left side, this is going to be a... Um, in case you don't have a, an ally coming up, just be careful you don't get isolated, but doesn't look like the Imperials are in danger of this happening today. However, I don't like that they're not all using this road in order to get up to the town to push together. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a delay for France Orient to come to the right side. They're going to have to run all the way across this road and then finally come over. I think this cav right here is just kind of a delay or a, a, a scouting cav or maybe even a misdirection from Russia. I think Russia is going to be more concentrated in the town area and in the forest altogether. You can hear some artillery already going off for the Russian faction. More cavs scouting here. Looks like they might be trying to scare off the CA calf. Probably not going to be able to outrun them unless they catch them off guard. Oh, just scaring them off. This hill position right here is actually probably a good setup for artillery, especially against enemy cavalry across the way. So this would potentially be a good position to plop your artillery down on, especially if any infantry start coming into the town. You can get some excellent shots on them while your infantry is on the lower ground. Kind of a double whammy effect. Uh, excellent artillery support for your infantry. Austria is already in the town, so they're not going to have to worry about coming up too quickly. Just going to have to worry about holding. Imperials are still a ways off, so it'll be a minute here. I don't recommend placing your armies in this kind of uh, uh, orchard area here around this farmhouse. It, you, it's a very strong defensive position, but you can't really attack. So I don't rec recommend putting in there. If you wanted to put some howitzers in here, however, uh, if you could get them in fast enough, this would be a fantastic uh, position for howitzers as you could reach across basically all around the town area. And... Uh, You'd be protected from enemy infantry, enemy cavalry charges, and you'd be protected from anti-artillery fire. So if that is a possibility for you, I recommend placing howitzers here. That would be a fantastic position. Got some more cavalry coming up here on this coalition left side. Gonna be slowed down going through the trees here. Got some stakes, I guess some early stakes that were put up by Austria, I'm gonna guess. Looks like some Russian artillery fire. We've got some dragoons running away. They probably got, looks like they were damaged a little bit by the artillery fire on top of this hill. And Russia, as I suspected, came up into the town. They don't wanna get isolated from their enemies. This was just kind of a scouting and distracting type of cavalry got some c8 cav scouting the area here it's only 12 of 17 they probably took some artillery fire france italy is finally coming up gonna be a line battle here in just a few moments I hear some more artillery fire somewhere in the distance. Not sure where that's coming from. Maybe on top of this hill. Okay, we've got some howitzers here. Going after the cavalry. Unfortunately, didn't hit anybody there. Denmark's taking some time to come up. Espana is coming up as well. Uh, I, this is a mistake. This, uh, I don't, it looks like France Orient is going for the howitzer build. They're just taking the extended line unit. They're not taking the general unit, but it's taking a lot of time for this howitzer unit to come up. It's not really doing any damage. This cavalry is too quick. It's too far out of range for, um, the howitzers to really be able to do anything about it. Uh, at this point, I think France Orient probably 
it looks like they still suspect Russia on this right side. Uh, I would not at the moment. I see Russia had shown its units here in the center section of the map, and they still have a Grenadier unit here. I would uh, just kind of get rid of the idea of attacking this section of the map. Maybe if you wanted to, you could uh, have some cav commit to this right side, try and get around these uh, artil this artillery battery that's kind of hidden at the moment. But uh, if you're going to push, maybe this left side might be better at the moment. You're gonna have to come across a huge distance on the right side, or you're gonna have to push through this forest area here under um, some unreachable artillery fire. I think the better option at this point since Russia looks like it has a good artillery position. I don't really see any artillery from Austria other than the howitzers. It could still be in the back. It could still be could still be hidden from sight here. Um, be careful, Italy. You're up here by yourself. Brunswick is coming up. Let's see. Spain is coming up. You're going to be 3v1 Potentially even 4v1. I forgot. Uh, Russia again is in the section right here. This attack is coming up a little bit too soon. Italy should have slowed its advance down a little bit. It's getting a decent artillery placement. There's a couple eight pounders on top of the hill. If I was actually um, a France, Italy, I would take these eight pounders and start trying to hit the flank here on this right side with. Uh, your cav can protect you if there's artillery on top here uh, you might have some protection from the house depending on where the artillery battery is placed also Denmark is coming up it can hit the right flank or can take the center position if Italy wants to try and make a maneuver around the right side uh, which I would have Italy do because it's it's the faster faction looks like we've got a cav charge coming in it's good Looks like it was halted. It was going to be broken up by this forested area here. It's trying to get after these uh, skirmishers. There's no cavalry in that center section that I was able to tell. So there was nothing to stop it. However, there was some line infantry behind the behind the skirmishers, which would have stopped them. We've got some cav here from France Orient. Looks like it's just running away at the moment. Can't take too much artillery. It's probably difficult to tell right now where France is, or I'm sorry, where Russia Cav is at. Um, but it's just holding their right flank. So they really need to be pushing through this center section here. They're going to be hit. They're going to try and have to take out this artillery or uh, converging their armies. in the center section. Uh, France Orient could potentially just come up along this road, stay at range from this artillery battery. It might take some few hits over time, that's true. Uh, but Russia is will be halted if it decides to hit the left flank. But since Russia is right here in the center of town already, uh, you're essentially just isolated on the left. Denmark needs to come up quicker. France is just un France Italy is just taking some unnecessary fire here France needs to start wrapping around the side having Denmark fill the position here uh, and it needs to go faster because Brunswick and Spain are already here it needs to start getting their armies together in line as quickly as possible this is actually not a bad position if you can put some artillery right here you can hit some Russian troops maybe get some fire into Austria, although it's going to be a little bit difficult and you're going to be at range if you're trying to fire into the town just due to the positioning. Now, I do like what the coalition has done. They've taken the position in the town exactly where they need to. Their lines are not as neat. However, if France push in the center section, they're going to have to push into the salient against this farmhouse there's still these howitzers there and then Brunswick is here to back up Austria if it gets into trouble Spain is coming up to back up either side it's an excellent play here 
converging their armies and Austria is not taking a lot of artillery fire. In fact, coalition in general just is not taking a lot of artillery fire from anywhere. Got some lines starting to engage here against Austria. France, Italy has some decent shooting line infantry and they're not too bad in melee for the most part. Um, but they are not meant for they are or I should say they are more meant for uh, taking and holding points quickly or outmaneuvering they're not for smashing through the center you want the higher pointer imperial factions or France Espana with their excellent um Cavalry units, especially the uh, 199 men Dragoon unit, uh, that is more geared towards engaging in sustained line battles and smashing through infantry lines as well as anti cavalry. Got some Chevalier Jays here just extending the lines. And I personally think this is probably the best section of the line to hit is try and wrap around this section here you can see that there's some stakes here which might be actually a bait for this cavalry here you'll have to go through this artillery fire but you'll get a brief respite because of the house here some more infantry engaging If you have some extra artillery, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing to just bring it up here. Maybe get some protection against the enemy artillery fire. Try and hit the cav here or try and hit the lines. France is going to have its work cut out for it. It's facing two defensive positions here it's facing it's caught in between two houses artillery fire howitzers and also backup infantry it's able to push Austria back a little bit but the more that it pushes pushes Austria back the more it's going to be exposed and caught in between the houses here the closer it's going to get to the artillery fire the more France is going to take casualties so if your thought is to wrap around here, you're gonna need to move your infantry as quickly as possible. Looks like we've got Denmark engaging some Russian infantry. If you're gonna engage in a shootout, in a prolonged shootout, Russia is the better bet since France, for the most part, has better shooting infantry. France Orient is way too far out here. He's completely isolated alone. This is not a good position for him to be in. He's not helping out his team. Also, this infantry needs to push, needs to start wrapping into the forest here along with this uh, France Espana pushing. Denmark needs to continue to push against this. Looks like Denmark might have put in some line, line units against some grenadiers. That was not the best move. Save your units more towards the end. Guys, don't put your line units inside of the house trying to take it unless um, it's something like a, a grenadier unit where you can actually get some work done. Don't just send your typical line infantry in there. I like to see that uh, Espana is actually moving up his artillery here. He needs to unlimber it, get it set up, start having it inflict some casualties along the Russian line. France Orient still isolated on this far left side. All this cav surrounding some horse artillery. Uh, the the infantry is just going to take unnecessary losses along with the, the cavalry. Looks like we've got a retreating unit. I wonder what happened here. 
I think this is a very low morale unit. I don't see any, um, I don't see a general unit here to back it up, so it probably was able to route pretty quickly. Uh, looks like we've got some potential line units. I'm not sure if this is light infantry unit or not. Uh, again, this is a mistake being sent in here against this Grenadier unit. I know it's just Brunswick in here, and they're a six-pointer faction, I believe. But this is a Grenadier unit. They're probably going to be more decent in the melee. Austria is here to add some additional reinforcements inside of the house. France, Italy should, should be backing up this infantry charge with some actual, um, some extra cavalry. Meanwhile, this cavalry is just getting in the lines of France Orient. These units cannot form square. There's some counter charges from France, Italy into the Chevalier's from Austria, routing the Chevalier's. But there's another counter charge from another 72-man unit from the Chevalier's. In a, into a Dragoon unit, this Artois unit is actually a pretty decent uh, Dragoon unit. I'm actually surprised that the Chevaliers are running away unless they're trying to cycle charge. France is moving up some more units here. Denmark has thrown some cavalry units into the fight. Some more cavalry needs to be thrown at these Chevaliers. Need to start funneling cavalry into this side. Get some squareable units as well on the right flank. Unfortunately, the Imperials still have not taken this house. And that's a costly, costly battle right there. Still, France Orient is still not engaged on this left side. France Orient really needs to be pushing through these woods right now or wrapping around the flank of Russia. Even if it takes some artillery fire from the hill, it's still going to be able to push Russia back. They're going to be able to break through this line if they combine their forces. Don't you need to start charging your infantry at the Russian line all together in combination with your artillery in order to be most effective. Looks like we've got another line unit inside the house against the line unit. Unfortunately, it's not faring very well. If France, Italy's general is able to be moved up, it should help support any charges and on the right side of the lines in order to uh, increase the infantry's ability to do whatever it is they need to do, whether it is a morale boost, whether it's melee combat, whether it is just plain old shooting. And this is going to be a really difficult position for the Imperials to take. This is a high ground with some stakes in the front. They can't just charge cavalry up here against this artillery battery. Spain has infantry units along the line left side to back up any pushes on top of the hill. Looks like España could actually push the center here. Start pushing against Brunswick. This is where you're going to need to push. You need to push up these infantry units here across the stakes. Maybe even take out some artillery here. France, Italy is at least able to push Austria back here. France, Italy, or I'm sorry, France, Espana needs to be attacking along the center section if they're going to be attacking together. There's a weak point along the Austrian line. There's just some land there here. Get a couple units. Get some fire in this position. You'll be able to route at least a portion of the line units. This is going to be a hard position to take. At this point, I might recommend just retreating unless you can take this house. This is going to be too much for you guys to take unless you can wrap around the flank with some extra cavalry units. This center section is a little weaker than the rest of the line because Brunswick is there. I don't even see any Russian infantry here. It might have been pushed back a little bit too far. All along the line should be attacking or should be trying to isolate this 
Spain units over here. France Orient still has several units on this other side. It's still not engaged. It's way too far away, isolated. Looks like there's some chevaliers in the backside of the Imperials. There's too many infantry units here in the back trying to protect. This all needs to be sent up towards the line. If you're going to push, there's some additional units. You got six infantry units here from, from Denmark that are not even in the fight. You could be wrapping around Spain right now with these extra units. At most, leave one extra unit per, per artillery battery. Move your artillery batteries up in support of your extra units. They're too far away right now. They're not going to be able to do as much damage as you need them to do against the enemy lines here. Looks like the howitzer battery from France Orient is gone. That's a huge loss. And this, if there is some backup cavalry here, it might be a good idea to start sending these guys into melee combat. If you can, with some additional support, you can move up this infantry unit, especially if it can form square against the side of Espana right here, or you can hit into these skirmishers get some cavalry if France Orient hadn't pushed up so hard on this left side here it could be hitting the flank of Spain right now coming through the forest wrapping around Spain forcing them to retreat France Orient looks like it's been able to I'm sorry France Italy is pushing up further against Austria it's even been able to take the house it's pushing up in the center section here Austria is having to retreat against the hill However, they're still outnumbered on this far left side with all the Spanish unit. There's a ton of artillery still upon the hill. And I think Austria might have lost its artillery on the slope as well. Continue to push. Try and do your best to push in the center section. España, all your infantry needs to be sent up. You need to be really pressuring against the line here there's some additional units in the back that need to be sent up just a huge blob here in the center section Cavalry being thrown against the line here. Artillery fire going off. Denmark needs to be pushing in the center section here. There's all this Brunswick. Uh, this Brunswick area will probably be able to get um, overwhelmed pretty quickly if you don't see him moving. This artillery battery is just being allowed to shoot into the flank of Espana here. Espana needs to be sending up some more reinforcements. Italy is getting some fire on the left flank of the coalition. They're sending some units into melee against a square formation. Who's looks like he's wavering. Looks like this Chevlager unit is having some success against the French lines in the center. And there's nothing to protect the backside of these French units right now. France is continuing to push. And I'm actually surprised that they're routing, that they've done so much damage, especially with all this artillery here on the hill. I'm surprised that they've made it this far. Need to, France needs to continue to push on this side against Russia. They've got the the forest area. They shouldn't be afraid of Russia at this moment. If a general unit is nearby, it needs to be pushed up against uh, in support of these units here. France Orient needs to kind of uh, push its units together. France Orient coming to the aid of its ally a little bit too late. There's only a single unit here. It's not going to be enough. I don't see any cavalry here. Now might be a good charge, time to charge this large 
infantry unit against the Spanish lines. Oh, nice volley from the artillery on top of the hill. France is trying to go after the artillery on top of the hill. However, Spain is still alive and well, and there's all this enemy cav hitting into the line units of France right here. However, France, Italy was able to route this unit on top of the hill. They're taking a little bit of flanking fire. Artillery is still going off on top of the hill. Spain on this far left side for the Imperials has been able to push back what's left of the lines here. They've still got some cavalry here. Looks like Denmark went in, went in for a charge with its Dragoon units against some light cav, some Hussars from Espana, able to rout them with the general unit there. Spain's units are a little bit out of out of formation here. They're just being allowed to be shot at by France Orient. Let's check back with the center section here. Russia's able to come up in support of Austria. Looks like Austrian guns were at least forced into melee combat off the guns. However, I think this France combined Denmark and France Italy push in the center section uh, has just run out of steam. They didn't have enough manpower. They were not able to break this center section here with this additional artillery. They were able to take the house. Kudos to them, but I think they lost too much infantry taking this house. France Orient is still battling on this side. charges here France looks like it's still continuing to push against this artillery against the hill at this point it needs to be retreating against the house it needs to get away from that artillery fire and just preserve its army and just hope that France Orient can break Russia and Spain on the other side in the meantime there is still all this additional infantry from from Denmark that should have been put into the fight uh, should have been using this infantry right here to in support of Spain at the very or I'm sorry in support of France Orient at the very least there's all this calf still here that's not been thrown into the fight could have been pushed against Spain on this side there's some Spanish cavalry and Spanish infantry that would take time to get to you do not fight right here you're not fighting on the on the elevation you're fighting at the bottom part of the hill it's not a good position to be in looks like some line units in the center if they have not been routed have at least retreated from the Imperials We've got the entire right side of the Imperial line basically routing or in full retreat. Better to just make a stand at the house. Carefully, your general unit is right here. Looks like Brunswick is going to, or at least was trying to go for a potential charge. You see this infantry unit is being moved up. There's nothing guarding this artillery that's being repositioned to the left side. And here comes Brunswick to take advantage of this undefended artillery batteries.
There goes battery number two. Some more skirmishes here on the left side, able to route both of these Spanish factions. Dragoon units are not gonna be enough to defeat this Russian light cav, or at least I don't think they're going to be. And they are not, they did some excellent damage and morale to this light cav unit. I'm actually surprised that it did not fare very well. It might have been because the square formation was there. Spain is continuing to wrap around. There's nothing really to stop it. Only some cavalry here to potentially slow things down. Now that your artillery units are gone, the only thing you can do, Denmark, is start pushing up your infantry to help join the fight. Maybe try and kill Spain on this left side here or attack them in the center. You're taking some flanking fire from these skirmishers. You can just take this line infantry unit, push them up, run them into these units most likely, and they will probably route. Denmark is still alive on this section. Their artillery on top was able to be at least damaged, but it's not gone. It's still there. It's going to continue to hammer away at the Imperials on this right side, and it's only a matter of time before they go. I would recommend kiting on this section. Swing your flank back as much as you can to behind the house so that Spain is going to be attacked by any infantry units inside of the house um, and then you can kite them, tactically retreat them, get some shots off, continue to move back, get out of the way of that artillery fire if you can. Denmark pushing up some units in the center section here might actually be able to take out some of these skirmishers here. France Orient is doing what it can to push against Spain on its center section, but its flank on the left is being overwhelmed. Spain continuing to push up units. There's still this dromedary unit. They still got another quick moving cav unit. And instead of a shootout here, France Orient should be putting pushing into a melee combat against these line units. That's what he should really be going after. Looks like France Orient or España is being threatened from a cav charge. The skirmishers are gone, or at least they were pulled back. So well done on España for doing that. We've got this light cav unit. Going through the forest, getting into the back of the French lines. That's not going to be good. And here they go into the back line. Might wrap this Versailles unit. It's a reserve unit. There they go. They're going to follow up. Russia's going to probably push its infantry into melee combat against the remaining units in the forest. Or at least that's what it should do in this scenario. There goes another line unit from France. Spain is pushing up its horse artillery along with some light cap. Looks like there was a Spanish light cap battle here against some dromedaries and possibly the light cav unit from France or yes the c9 cav unit from France was able to be routed however these dromedaries uh, are very nice France orient unit probably one of my more favorite France orient units excellent against anti-cavalry or I should say they're anti-cavalry uh, excellent against cavalry for the kind of morale hits also they're more of like a uh, a dragoon unit that's specifically suited for attacking cav 
France Orient should probably join the center here if they if there was anything left of Espana maybe try and do their best to hit Russia in the flank if they continue to push against Spain here well the left side can wrap around them also they're becoming increasingly isolated from what's left of their allies Denmark is coming around it looks like they positioned their units behind the house eventually this house is just going to take too much damage neither point will be able to or neither faction will be able to defend itself if it continues to take damage looks like some heavy calves it is being charged by some chevaliers it's not being moved i don't think the denmark player is aware of what's going on here chevaliers were able to just touch the unit and it routed France Orient is able to route another Spanish unit here. Needs to continue to push up this line unit in order to help out anywhere if they're gonna be able to, to attack anywhere on this map here. In fact, if I was France Orient, I would, wouldn't even be bothering with this side of the map at this point. I'd be pushing all my units into the flank of Russia to help out my allies where this artillery is still available uh, if you wanted to try and hard push against Spain you could try and do that as well but it, all your infantry needs to be repositioned in support of your allies however Spain has finally uh, made it all the way around here I don't know if France has any more cavalry units left to join the fight here Here comes the Spanish Cav, followed by some backup infantry. There goes the dromedaries. I don't know where the dromedaries were. I think they were trying to attack the infantry, but that is not the, not the use for those. Got some Spanish Dragoons making sure that these dromedaries don't come back. The artillery's in danger. Units routing everywhere. It's like France Orient is repositioning a little bit. Trying to get after Spain. It needs to be more aggressive against Spain. Uh, but it's not looking good. For the Imperials. Looks like this house has been damaged. Spain is pushing up some line infantry, although they're a little bit disorganized and the morale is dropping. Denmark is doing a good job keeping its units together, routing this line infantry unit from Spain. This additional infantry unit from Spain might be able to route as well. There it goes. The house is on fire, but the units are still holding. Denmark continues to hold its flank even under unrelenting artillery fire and Spanish infantry. Here comes some more Spanish infantry inside of the house. Probably be able to route this. And the Denmark infantry unit is still holding. Spain has been routed on this right side. I don't see any more Austrian units except for the general. All Austria has left is the artillery and some cavalry and a line unit or two. Some cav was being charged into the back lines of Denmark. I don't see any units in the house. I'm not sure who has it. France is finally broken in the center. Orient is now isolated and alone. It's under artillery fire from Russia. The Imperials are out of cav, out of manpower. The 
They've lost the last defensive position, I believe. Or maybe not. Looks like we've still got a Danmark unit inside the house. However, there's just too much cav, too much artillery, too much infantry left from the coalition side. Just got some piecemeal fights around this flank from France Orient. Looks like they're retreating into the forest maybe to make a last stand, try and get a defensive position somewhere. Denmark is finally surrounded. The lost last Austrian units have come up at quite a cost to themselves. Looks like this is just a few men left from both units and a general unit. Denmark still has a unit in the house. The cavalry is finishing off the last unit here. Denmark put up a stubborn defense at the very end, unfortunately. Just not enough. As I thought, it looks like France Orient is trying to make a stand here in the woods. This Vermandois unit still engaged against Casadores de Orgullo. I don't know how to pronounce that. Your guess is better than mine. Taking some artillery fire, it's not going to last long. Out in the open, the morale hits are already coming. And at this point, I think the French should just start uh, coalescing the rest of the units here. Uh, they do not have enough men in order to finish the rest of this match. Especially with 12 minutes to go. They don't hold the LOC. So I think the better option at this point is just to put your units together and start trying to destroy whoever is left or just start charging your units in here. You're not going to be able to take this artillery along with all this cavalry. So this is pretty much the end of France Orient here. Uh, I am going to go ahead and fast forward to the end. Uh, it was a coalition victory today, so that means the match goes to the Brognard team. Le Couchemers de Homme still put up a great fight, so you guys should be proud of yourself. The biggest thing that I saw was that France Orient was kind of isolated on it, its left side and was not helping the kind of left center section as much as it should have been. Also, the artillery was a little bit too far behind the lines. Could have been more useful closer to the line. France on the right side along with Denmark on their push actually got much farther than I thought they were going to. They lost a bit, little bit too many men trying to go for the house. And then after they got the house, they had to push up really quickly against that large artillery battery from Austria with all the supporting Spanish units. And unfortunately, it just ran out of gas and uh, some of the center section units could have engaged a little bit better. But overall, you guys did a good job, did better than I had thought you were gonna do on that far right side. Good game, guys, good game to everybody. For the Imperials to lay Couchemeres de Holmes, the first individual playing as France Italy was commanded by OPSEC. And he had 1,306 kills, France Orient was played by Maximus Prime with 966 kills. Stan was playing as Denmark with 807 kills. 
and Steely Dan, fellow YouTuber, got his own channel, check him out, was playing as France Espana with 1,150 kills. For the Grognards today, playing as Austria was Edekan or Edekan, I'm sorry I, if I mispronounce your name. Uh, had 2,090 kills. Catch was playing as 1812 Russia with 1,231 kills. Seymour was playing as Brunswick with 697 kills. And Spain was commanded by Cossack with 1,925 kills. So there you go, guys. Uh, thank you for sending in the tournament replay. Thank you, everybody, for watching and participating. I will have the next replay out as soon as possible. Thank you everyone for watching. I will catch you on the next one.